In the past, I've been a little bit wishy-washy on whether or not you should learn WordPress when you're just getting started with learning how to code. And now with everything that's been going on recently, some people might not really be sure whether or not they should bother learning WordPress. So it made me think maybe I should make a video to give my opinion and my thoughts on this since it's something I've kind of talked about a few times. Now, I'm not going to dive into the specifics of the drama because that's not really what this video is going to be about. This video is aimed more for people who are interested in learning how to code and thinking about learning WordPress now and moving forward. So I just want to get that out of the way. There's plenty of people talking about what's going on if you want to know more about that. I did post on Twitter last week that I think WordPress is too big to fail. I don't think that we're at a point where everybody's just going to stop using WordPress. I don't think clients are going to start migrating away from WordPress. And I don't honestly think that any developers are going to take the time to migrate any websites off of WordPress unless they really, really have to. It's stated that WordPress powers over 43% of the internet. I'm not really sure how accurate that is, but a lot of people are using WordPress. And the truth is that in about a year from now, only a handful of people are even going to remember that any of this drama ever happened. With that in mind, I definitely don't see WordPress going anywhere anytime soon. So if your concern was that it might just disappear, that's definitely not going to happen. It's got too big of a market share, too many people use it, and too many clients desire it. So I will say that that's probably one of the first advantages you should consider if you're thinking about learning WordPress. It's still going to be used, it's going to be around forever, and it's not going anywhere. The next thing is that even though it kind of took a hit to the community and maybe some of the resources that are built around WordPress might have a bad taste in their mouth with everything that's been going on. It's still a huge ecosystem with an extremely large community. There's a ton of resources out there. There's plugins, there's themes, and there's all kinds of stuff that is built on WordPress. There's plenty of WordPress developers out there. So that means you're gonna find plenty of courses, tutorials, and support online to be able to help you learn this if you do decide to. That's a huge plus about WordPress. They've always been known for having a huge ecosystem just because they've been around for so long and so many people use it. Another thing that is a huge plus of still taking the time to learn WordPress now is its versatility. It can be used for many things. A lot of times companies and businesses will use WordPress for their blogs. You can use it for e-commerce. You can even use WordPress as a headless CMS. So there's definitely a lot of different ways that you can use WordPress and there's a lot of things that you can build with WordPress. So that's a huge plus to consider if you're thinking about learning it right now. There's also still a lot of jobs in WordPress. It's still desired in the job market and it's really desired in a lot of freelancing gigs too. So apart from having versatility on how you can use it, you also have a lot of versatility for the work that you can do and how you can get paid to be a WordPress developer and work in WordPress. Having WordPress knowledge is valuable in web development jobs, digital marketing, and even content creation. Not every job out there is gonna require that you know WordPress, but having a working knowledge in it is always gonna be beneficial. And a working knowledge in WordPress can also transfer over to other CMSs and other web development tools out there that you might come across. So it's not gonna hurt you to learn a little bit of WordPress. With that said, learning WordPress is pretty easy. To just get a high level understanding of how to use it and to get familiar with it isn't going to take you a lot of time and energy and effort. If you're someone who's already learning how to code and has dug into some of the more technical stuff, you're not going to have a hard time learning how to use WordPress and learning how to install themes and learning how to install plugins and learning how to use the WYSIWYG. Another thing that's awesome about how easy WordPress is to use is deploying websites and hosting your websites online. And if you're interested in getting started with WordPress and hosting a WordPress website, you should check out today's sponsor, Hostinger. Hostinger is one of the few hosting platforms that is officially recommended by WordPress.org. You can quickly get your WordPress website up and running with their one-click installation, and they offer a bunch of additional features to make sure that your website is secure and performing as best as possible. Some of the things they offer free of charge are a domain name, SSL certificates, they have a free CDN that can boost your site speed up to 40%, email hosting, and even free website migration. Their H panel is extremely intuitive and easy to use, and they offer AI tools that can help you with content creation and even troubleshooting some of the issues you might have on your site. Many times you can catch a really good sale and right now they're having a Black Friday deal that you don't want to miss out on. As part of their early Black Friday deals, you can get their premium hosting plan for as little as $249 a month. They also offer a lot of VPS hosting plans as well. So if you're looking for a VPS, you should check out their KVM2, which is a 67% discount right now during their Black Friday deal at $599 per month when you sign up for 24 months. They have great customer support and all of this is backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee. So make sure you check them out at hostinger.com slash Dorian Develops. I'll make sure to include the link down in the description. All right. 
let's get back to the video. So I talked a little bit about the advantages of learning WordPress for you to consider, but I also want to talk about some of the things that you should consider with everything that's been going on. This is obviously going to leave a bad taste in some people's mouths. It's also going to maybe cause a little bit of instability in the ecosystem itself. It could maybe affect how some people contribute to the open source projects that are around WordPress or even WordPress itself. There's also legal and licensing issues that have been going on and you never want to be caught in the middle of that. We've already seen how some of that's starting to play out and you would hate to build on this ecosystem and contribute to this ecosystem and then possibly space potential legal or other kind of issues that you would have to deal with. It also kind of slows down innovation in a way because now there's going to be more developers that are going to be hesitant to contribute and build on top of WordPress, but I still don't think that it's going to go anywhere. But these are things that you should consider if you're thinking about learning WordPress and who knows where WordPress will be in the next 10 or 20 years. Everybody's been saying that WordPress has been dying for the last 20 years and it didn't seem like it was slowing down anytime soon until all of this stuff happened. And this could possibly have long-term effects on the content management system itself, but we won't really know. In that tweet that I posted, I had a lot of mixed reviews and some people were totally agreeing with me saying that WordPress is too big to fail and this isn't gonna change anything people are still gonna build on top of it. And I do believe that because as long as there's money to be made, there's gonna be people that are gonna be willing to keep using this product. The thing is that on the flip side, there was also people saying that no, they don't like what happened. They really feel a certain way about this. They're gonna start not recommending this product to their customers anymore, and they're gonna slowly move away from using it. Again, there's still gonna be money to be made and people are still gonna use it and there's gonna be a lot of legacy sites and a lot of companies that aren't gonna move away from WordPress. Like they're just not gonna do it. But maybe long term, if enough developers who have a bad taste in their mouth move away from it, maybe eventually there will be a fork of WordPress and there'll be a new WordPress that takes over or maybe there'll be another more popular CMS that eventually takes over but we just don't know. But those are some things that you should consider if you're thinking about learning WordPress. Now, do I think it's still worth learning, right? That was the whole point of this video. And of course, you can tell from my tone that I think that, yeah, you should learn WordPress. It doesn't take a lot to learn WordPress. At least just getting a basic understanding of it could take maybe a solid week of learning. If you spend a little bit of time and build like an e-commerce site and a blog on WordPress, you're pretty much gonna know enough to be able to get a job done working in it. You could dive in deeper and some of the things that can transfer over into other frameworks or other stacks are things like learning PHP, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery. All of those things are used within WordPress and transfer over into other frameworks. For instance, if you take the time to learn PHP, that knowledge can transfer over into Laravel or Symfony. If you take the time to learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, that knowledge will all transfer over to other frameworks as well, like React or Angular or Vue or Svelte or any other front-end framework. If you take the time to learn jQuery, that's a topic for another video because I don't know if you should take the time to learn jQuery, but it won't hurt. And spending a little bit of time in that will also transfer over to other areas as well. So short term, if it's worth it, if you're looking to get freelancing jobs right away, if you have a use case for learning WordPress so that you can build somebody a blog, so that you can build somebody an e-commerce website, so that you can just quickly deploy something and get something up and running for a business, then by all means, learn it. It's still going to be widely used and a lot of people are going to desire it, especially when it comes to freelance. And long term, you know, it might not diminish significantly in the long run, but it might diminish some, but that goes back to understanding some of the core functionalities of WordPress, understanding the programming languages that I mentioned, understanding what a content management system does and how it works because those skills transfer over to other areas. And then understanding that long-term, being able to adapt to new technologies and new languages and new frameworks and new content management systems is just something that you're gonna be doing as a developer if you do this as a career, or even if you do it for freelance, if this is your line of work, you're always gonna be adapting, there's always gonna be new tools, and even though some tools might be here for a really long time, eventually all tools kinda die or something else comes out. Not always the case, and WordPress has been one of those that has been around forever, but with technology, things are always changing and new things are always coming out and being able to adapt is one of those things that you should think about long term. So if you're thinking whether or not it's worth learning, yeah, it's definitely worth learning short term and you could still use it long term. But again, something new might come out by then and you might be working in something completely different and that's perfectly fine. As far as the ecosystem goes, nobody can really tell what's going to happen with that. You have to use your best judgment and follow your gut. And my gut's telling me 
that it ain't going to change much. Something else that you can consider too, if you're really not sure whether or not you want to learn WordPress or if you feel that it might not be worth it, then maybe you can look into some alternative content management systems that might suit your needs. There's a ton out there. A lot of people have been recommending Ghost. I recently found out about Statomic and made a video about that. It's a CMS that's built on top of Laravel. I really like that and I thought it was great. There's a few other PHP CMSs out there that you can also check out. I think October CMS is one of them and Twill is another one. And there's CMS is built on every programming language and every framework these days. So just take a look, do a little bit of research and find one that might better fit your needs if you don't want to learn WordPress because you're unsure of what's going to happen with it or you don't know whether or not it's actually the content management system that you wanted to take the time to learn. But remember that if you do learn WordPress, a lot of those basic concepts and functionalities of a content management system will transfer over to other CMSs, but depending on what programming language they're built on or what framework they're built on, some things might be different. But at the end of the day, most content management systems kind of do the same thing. So that's just something that you need to think about and figure it out for yourself. Because at the end of the day, we use the tools that we need to get the job done and the tools that we need that our clients might have us use. And if WordPress is a tool that you need to get the job done or your client wants you to use it, then use it. If you're open to different options, then look around and find the tool that works for you. And I honestly think that WordPress isn't going anywhere. I think it's still worth learning. And I think that the skills that you gain from learning it and taking some time to learn it are good to have and they will transfer over into other areas. With all that said, I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.